Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin, or we will discuss arithmetic means. This one is quite important for you to know if ang pag-aaralan mo is all about arithmetic sequence. So discuss natin, or let's define, ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng arithmetic means. So now, let us discuss and define what is arithmetic means. The term or terms of the arithmetic sequence that is between two given terms are called arithmetic means. So, later on, may imagine nyo ano nga ba talaga yung ibig sabihin ng arithmetic means based on that definition. So, before we start discussing and solving some problems about arithmetic means, it is important for us to review again the general formula of an arithmetic sequence. We have here a sub n minus a sub 1 is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, we need to review this kasi ito yung gagamitin natin later para sa mga problems natin. Our a sub n, it stands for the last term of the given sequence later. And then, yung a sub 1 natin, basically, that is the first term of the sequence. Yung n natin, are the number of terms. And then yung ating D ay yung tinatawag natin common difference. So without further ado, let's start solving some problems about arithmetic means. I have here example number one. Sabi dito, find the arithmetic mean between 66 and 78. So basically guys, you need to understand the, the main problem or the sentence. Sabi dito, find the arithmetic mean. So, basically, ang ibig sabihin yan, isa lang yung pinapahanap. In this kind of problem, I will show you two different way on how to solve it kasi isa lang yung pinapahanap sa ating arithmetic mean. So, yung first solution natin, yung method number one natin, ay yung mas madali kapag isa lang yung pinapahanap na number between them. So, ang solution ko rito is that I am trying to add the, the, the two numbers, 66 plus 78, and then I will divide it by 2. Again, ha, gagawin nyo lang to kapag ang pinapahanap na arithmetic mean ay nag-iisa lang. So, when you add 66 and 78, that will give you 144. And then divided by 2, that will give you, I think this is 72. Meaning, the arithmetic mean of 66 and 78 is 72. So, sorry nga pala. Ito yung nga pala yung tura ng pinaka-problem natin. Sabi yung kanina, Find the arithmetic mean between 66 and 78. So, gawin nyo dito. Try to write 66. And then, mayroong isang nawawala. Comma, 78. So, ibig sabihin, yung 72 yung kailangan nyo ilagay dito. Yan. Ah, sorry. This is 78. Okay. So, that is our method number one. What about method number 2? So let's use method number 2. Yung method number 2 natin ay gagamitin naman natin yung formula natin na a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Ang pinaka-target natin sa paggamit ito ay mahanap natin yung variable d. So, let's start. We have here, let's say for example, wala pa tayong 72 ha. Hindi pa natin ginamit yung first method. Let's have here the different variables. So, basically, kailangan meron kang value ng a sub n, a sub 1, n, tapos yung hanapin natin yung d. Dito, yung a sub n natin, sabi doon kanina sa ating review a sub n is the last term. So, dito, mag-assume tayo na ang last term natin sa ating given problem is 
78. At yung atin namang a sub 1, syempre yung first term nyo, which is 66. Tapos, yung n natin, going back with the uh, meaning of each variable, yung n natin is the number of terms. Right? So, we need to think about it. Yung n natin, pag binilang natin, it will give you 1, 2, 3. We have 3 terms in total. At yung d yung hahanapin natin. So, para mahanap nyo yung d, is you need to substitute the, those variables or the value of those variables. Yung a sub n is 78 is equal to your a sub 1 which is 66 plus your n is 3 minus 1 times d. So, simplify natin. This is 78 is equal to 66 plus 3 minus 1 that will give you 2d. And then, transpose natin sa kabila ito. And always remember, when you are transposing a term, you need to consider the sign of it. Since yung ating 66 is a positive, meaning when you transpose it to the other side of the equation, it will become a negative number. So we have 78 minus 66 is equal to 2d. And then after that, you need to subtract it. So 78 minus 66, that will give you 12 is equal to 2d. At ang target natin is makuha si D, yung letter D. So, ibig sabihin, to solve for D, you need to divide it both sides by 2. Maka-cancel natin to, and this will give you D is equal to 6, 12 divided by 2, that will give you 6. Ngayon, uh, bakit importante mahanap natin yung letter D? Alam naman natin, di ba, uh, para maka makapunta tayo sa next term ng isang arithmetic sequence, kailangan i-add mo yung common difference from the previous term. So, if you have 6 as your common difference, ang mangyayari, gagawin mo lang ay 66, di ba yung first term mo? Plus, your common difference, that is 72. Therefore, yung ating nawawalang arithmetic min dito is 72. I know na medyo mahaba yung method number 1, for this problem, a uh, method number two for this problem, pero ang reason kasi para kaya ako ginagawa ito para maging familiar, ma familiarize yung steps natin para sa susunod natin example. Okay? Let's move on to example number two. In example number two, ito yung kailangan yung tandaan at intindihin. Find the four arithmetic means. So, look at this one. Four. Between 16 and 91. You have two existing numbers at dalagay natin ng another four numbers between those two numbers. So, paano ba natin isusulat yan? So, sulat pa na natin. So, this is your first term, 16. And then, maglalagay tayo ng four blank spaces. 1, 2, 3, Four, and then comma 91. So as you can see, bakit tayo naglagay ng 4 blank spaces? Because we are asked to find 4 arithmetic means. So let's have the formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So ang A sub n natin is your last term, which is 91 yung a sub 1 natin yung first term mo which is 16 your n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 6 terms ang meron lahat tayo at yung common difference ang magiging susi para mahanap natin yung mga yan now let's start substituting those values your a sub n is 91. You have your 91. Is equal to 16, right? Your a sub 1 plus 
6 minus 1 times d. Okay? Simplifying this equation, 91 is equal to 16 plus 6 minus 1, that will give you 5d. And then after this, transpose natin sa kabila. This will give you 91 minus 16 is equal to 5d. Subtract natin left side of the equation. Six, uh, 91 minus 16, that will give you 75. Okay? And then is equal to 5d. And then again, our target is to find the variable d. Divide both sides by 5. Cancel. This one will be D, your common difference. And then 20, 75 divided by 5, that will give you 15. This is the common difference. Again, that is the common difference. So, gagamitin natin common difference para mahanap yung second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay? So, para mahanap natin second, second term, gagawin mo, Yung first term mo, plus your common difference, 15. That is 31. So, ito ay magiging 31. Next, for the third term, ito na yan. Copy mo yung second term mo, 31 plus 15. That is 40. Six, So, your third term is just 46. Next, let's have the fourth term. 46 plus 15. So, this is 61. Okay? So, let's add 61. Now, for the fifth term, We have the fifth term, 61 plus 15. That will give you 76. So, the four arithmetic means between 16 and 91 are 36, ah, sorry, 31, 46, 61, and 76. I hope na nakuha niyo yung method natin in doing example number two. Now, let's move on with the third example that I have here in my video tutorial. We have here insert three arithmetic means between 55 and 15, 115. So again, we are asked to find or insert three arithmetic means and you have the first term as 55 and your last term is 115. So, let's visualize the problem. You have 55, and then 3 blank spaces para sa ating arithmetic means. Tapos, your last term which is 115. So here, using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Your a sub n is equal to 115. a sub 1 is equal to 55. Your n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. And your d is still unknown. Let's substitute the value of each variable. We have here 115 is equal to 55 plus your n which is 5 minus 1 times d this will become 4d and then transpose 55 to the other side you have 115 minus 55 is equal to 4d so subtracting those numbers that will give you 60 is equal to 4D. 
check muna natin ha Okay, 115 minus 55. Okay, that is 60. And then to find the value of D, divided by 4, cancel, cancel. This will give your common difference, which is 15. So, ang gagawin natin para mahanap natin yung second term. Second term. At third, fourth, ay gagamitin natin yung ating common difference. So, we have... 55 plus 15, that will give you 70. Yung third term naman natin, kunin natin yung second term, 70 plus 15, that is 85. And lastly, for the fourth term, Your third term, which is 85 plus 15, add natin, that will give you 100. So, these are the values of the second term. 70, 85, and 100. Now, those are the three arithmetic means between 55 and 115. I hope na sa ating first, second, and third example about solving arithmetic means and finding arithmetic means and natutunan nyo yung steps natin on how to use the formula of arithmetic sequence. So, I have here two item activity for you to answer if you want to apply what you have learned from this tutorial video and pinaka-prayer ko or I hope na naintindihan nyo or makuha nyo yung lesson natin kasi kailangan nyo ito matutunan. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat.